Volkswagen's Polo has always been a lot of super mini for the money and now it's even more and it's what you don't see that really makes this car different from the previous model. Yes it looks the same but under the skin there's been an awful lot of changes. Let's look under the bonnet first. There's two one-litre three-cylinder petrol engines rated at 60 and 75 brake horsepower. They're the ones that have come out of the Volkswagen Up City car. Then there's two 1.2-litre turbo petrols rated at 90 and 110 brake horsepower. The 1.4 turbo petrol engine continues but is boosted from 140 to 150 brake horsepower and that still has active cylinder technology, so it cuts down to two cylinders under light engine load, so saving fuel and cutting emissions. And then there's the turbo diesels, a pair of 1.4 litre engines rated at 75 and 90 PS. They're gonna give the best economy, but you've got to do the mileage to justify them. Safety has always been a strong point on the Volkswagen Polo, and the new model gets hill hold assist, it gets stability control, and it gets a post collision avoidance system. So it automatically brakes the car to stop any secondary collision after an accident. There's also plenty of options on the safety front. A driver alert system is 25 pounds on most models, and there's also adaptive cruise control and a city emergency braking system for 500 pounds. For the rest of the Polo, it's very much a case of if it ain't broke, don't fix it. It rides well, it's got a very grown up quality to it, a maturity beyond a super mini almost. And this is why it is so successful. It handles nicely, it's got big enough tyres so you don't feel every bump and lump. It will seat four people in uh, comfort, decent legroom in the back, and there's a decent boot as well, with a split level floor, so you can make it deeper if you want to, or have the floor at sill level for easy loading. The fascia works well, it's clear, big instruments. It's not fussy, but it's very functional, and the materials have a top-notch soft touch feel to them. The Volkswagen Polo may be a super mini, but it's a big super mini and it feels mature, it feels grown up and it's as good to drive as many cars in a class above and just as practical. It's not difficult to see why it's a regular top 10 seller.